be that dad go ahead, go ahead and introduce your 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 what is it your what my victory cigar still in the wrapper though so yeah, leave it in the wrapper so i win the whole thing this year of course <laughs> thank you getting a little too cocky there it's a long way to go hey well i, I, I taking the first half honors will do me just fine i just got to keep it rolling boys okay mm. okay i like the confidence Who do you guys think don't doesn't make it in the playoffs this year? I'm going to take a flyer, and that this has struck me as a curse in a lot of my fantasy football seasons, and maybe it's just because my team suck. But I think the points against is a big teller of just bad luck and not being able to pull it off. So I'm sorry, Tyler, but I don't think you make the playoffs this year. <laughs> Wow. Uh, okay. That's big. I know, I know you, I know you have a ton of points, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go bold prediction and I'm just going to think that the points against continue that trend and that's going to hurt you. Um, wow. I know. Yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was thinking, I was thinking the, I was thinking the other way around, you know, I, second most points scored and the most points scored against it. You think it's more like a, the law of uh, average or whatever, it's going to flip on the opposite. Something's going to flip. Yeah, you, you've been I able to control be your luck. points. You can't control the other team's points. I get that. I totally get that. Okay. I'm going to okay. take the bold okay. take, though. I just think that – I mean, look, if you look at it, everyone's pretty close, like legit. Um, you're – you're everyone's tied for that spot. Like six through ten is tied. So, mm -hmm. anyway, so there's that. And then I guess, I guess my fourth team would probably be Dallas. So mm. my bold prediction there is that it's the top, the same top six that you were talking about, but instead of um, Rob getting knocked out, I think it's, it's rowdy. And that's, and honestly, mm. I believe that y'all's are probably more likely, but that's just my, my take just to be different. Oh so, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just currently in the playoffs now. Or like top six or what? Just all oh, together. Who, who do you think at the end of the year? Who do you think's not going to make the playoffs? So that that's four total players that don't make yeah. it. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say I'm. I'm sorry, Harn, but your team's been pretty bad so far. So I'm, I'm going to go with Harn. He's overdue for the Schwally man. Yeah, he's coming second place. Like how many times? It's ridiculous. He has I'm going to say Harn. So. A, a bold prediction because Derek Henry's out. I'm, I'm going to say Rob. Even though he's got a pretty good record right now, I think he's going to plummet. Uh, Jimenez and Dallas, those are my four. You're going, Ooh, you're going, you Harn, Jimenez, some... Dallas, Rob. Yep, okay, Tyler. Everyone else, we're making the playoffs. Um, right? oh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I think Harn's the same dunk pick, not to make the playoffs. I think that's easy. Uh, sorry, Harn, we see this, but yeah, I know you won't, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so <laughs> Harn. <laughs> Arn, uh, I say Hunter. He's had some some bad luck this year, some some tough breaks, and I think I think he's made a couple of poor trades on top of that. So I think the players he did have was, yeah, I think this is going to be tough for him. Um, I think we continue beating up on the league punching bag in Dallas. Uh, so I think he misses it, and I think that basically I'm thinking that the the playoffs the one through six are going to stay the same, except I agree with what Cody said. I think with Derek Henry was carrying Rob's team so much. And I think that we kind of agreed that the first team on the outside looking in at number seven is Jimenez's team. And I think he's going to take Rob's spot. So I think it's going to be the, the five that are in there. And then basically Harn or Jimenez is going to take uh, Rob's spot for the other spot. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I have. I have me, dad and Howie top three. And then I have, yeah, I have Hunter at seven uh, and I have uh, Jimenez at six. All okay. right, I've got. I'm looking at the, looking at it now. Uh, first, first out would be Horn. Um, I think Hunter's not going to make it as well. I think that's. I think the first half is probably it's it's too hard to probably come back from being tenth and ninth at this point, even though there are only a few games out. Um, still, um, it can be tough. So I'm going to go those two. Um. So who do you think wins the 20? Who do you think comes in seventh? Seventh? Like who wins the 20 bucks? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm I'm gonna say uh I'm gonna say Jimenez because he's currently sitting in seventh, and that's I'm the gonna, reason why. I'm gonna say Hunter. Yeah, I'm gonna say Hunter. Hunter okay. Too. Yeah, I say it's either Hunter or Dallas. 
Hunter has such a actually a good team, but his wide receivers are so inconsistent. I mean, he's got D Hop and Amari Cooper, and if yeah, he's gonna get screwed out of the playoffs, did. but he's got a good team, yeah. so he, he should probably win it. Yeah, there we go. Any other any other uh, bold takes that we need to discuss before we call it a quit? One, I got one I got take. one bold take. Yeah, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, mine was gonna be the. I think Howie's first half is a complete fluke. I think he drops off the board and completely falls apart. Makes <laughs> trades, and I think he misses the playoffs completely. <laughs> uh, My bold take is that Tom's team continues the momentum, makes it to the championship game, but has a fluke week and loses. I, I think Tom comes in second, even though he should probably come in first. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I can see that happening. That's that's a good one. Yeah, that's that's mine actually. Um, I don't know if it's very bold since it's already been said, but I actually have Howie winning and I have Dad coming in second. So, wow. wow, Tom would be son. so mad if that happens. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, so here's Hunter's game right here. As you can see, twelve points, but he actually scored one twenty three at the bottom. So somehow had a, a oh, one hundred one okay. point reduction. Man, I gotta know what he did. Like yeah, to really. see that I didn't know you could be penalized like that. It might have been a bet with Doug Jones of some sort, I think, because Doug used to be pretty active and he would fuck around with Hunter a good bit. I don't know if uh, the only <laughs> the only thing I can think of is Hunter would know what this is about. Um, and maybe we'll save that for episode two. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll have to bring we'll have to bring it back. So um, this right here, it's going to be pretty small on your screens, I guess. Natty, go lay down. Let's go. Um, so this right here is the first four years of the fantasy football league and, and it's mobility essentially. So in 2011, the original members of the, of the beers league fantasy football league was myself, Justin Hughes, Parker Edwards, Alex King, Hunter, uh, Byersdorfer, Tom Byersdorfer, John Harn, and Zach Byersdorfer, uh, a pretty, um, different crowd, um, and, and I forgot, honestly, I forgot that Alex was even in the league, um, yeah, which is crazy just to see that. Um, so I see this as like the, the birth of the league, you know, obviously some key members in 2012, um, the, the universe started forming to say the least, uh, you know, we were, the big bang had happened in 2011 and 2012 <laughs> is just, you know, stars starting to form, not quite the league that we remember, but as you can see, we dropped, um, Alex left and actually Harn had a one year hiatus. Uh, funny enough, he got out of the league. I can't remember what happened, but I think we were just like moving shit around. And, um, you know, as the commissioner, I think in 2012, like, uh, I don't know. I think, I think maybe my friend group started moving around a little bit. Um, but this, this year kind of was dominated mainly by adding some of, uh, some of Hunter's friends, a little bit more of Hunter's friends. So we added this guy named James. Uh, no one really remembers him at all besides that he had the first overall pick and he chose Mark Sanchez. I don't know if you guys remember that. <laughs> I do. Remember that? Awesome. Hey, uh, Mr. Jimenez Buff Bumble himself. It, it said he needed a passcode, but Zach, you said that uh, uh, downloading the app will prevent that from happening. Is that right? Yeah, I'd ask him if he's on his laptop or the phone because I, okay. I tried to do laptop and it said I needed a passcode, but when I did phone with the app downloaded, it just plugged me in. Who's okay. this? Jimenez, he should be trying to do this. Apparently, needs a passcode. I have the app on my laptop, and it let me in just fine. So I just told him to download the app. Okay. All right. So we, we're we're gonna see Jimenez in a little bit. Um, Great. So James, <laughs> yeah, Mark Mark Sanchez, he joined the league. Uh, oh wow, hold on. For some reason, Mark, it's not Mark Sanchez, butt fumble. Uh, yeah. What was that? Did Mark Sanchez have a great year the year before, or was it just like completely out of the blue? Uh, uh you know i don't know i think he was just a huge jets fan yep oh, there's man. your problem right there yeah Poor yep <laughs> maybe he had a thing for mark sanchez i think i, I don't yeah i mean it's just, like he was also <laughs> he didn't know nothing <laughs> nothing about fantasy football and he just chose a quarterback i guess as his favorite player i don't know gotcha. he's, Poor, basically, yeah. he's basically like the more extreme version of uh he's a more extreme version of Harn and be like Harn taking aaron Rodgers. Aaron, he's not quite that bad he wastes at least like the second or third round to you know draft aaron Rodgers every year yeah yeah every year so, well, you know, Horn yeah. probably wants to draft Aaron Rodgers in the first round, first overall, but he, he has to wait yeah. it out. He, it, he, yeah. He's smart he's smart enough to know, like, to back out. Right. Yeah. So we, sweating the whole time, waiting for the, <laughs> the, the fifth round. Nobody take Aaron, please. Please. <laughs> so uh, 
we, we also added uh, another one of Hunter's friends, uh, Robert Rao. I think he was Bulldog um, 11. Uh, a uh, Grant was a buddy that I worked with for a year. I think he's like, he was a Falcons Ravens fan, kind of a combo, I guess. Um, and I think maybe we were just trying to fill spots because um, I don't think he stayed for much longer. And then Doug Jones, we mentioned him already. That's one of uh, our golf buddies, uh, the Jones family with Alex and Harn leaving. So in 2013, so that made the league a 10, 10 man league. So it went from eight man to 10 man. And then 2013 was a crazy year. That was like a ton of shit was going on. And we we're, I guess, three years in the league, just trying to figure out what we wanted to do. Um, it was starting to get kind of exciting fantasy football. Um, and we added guys like uh, Mark, uh, Mark Fox uh, was one of the guys. He's someone we grew up with and we started hanging out with a little more. And, uh, and Brett Blair was a buddy of, of Mark's. Um, Jimenez and Tyler, this was their first year in the league. Uh, so they, they joined a couple of new staples, joined the league, the, the, uh, not quite of the original cast, but, uh, staple members, obviously, cause they've stayed, you know, I mean, we've tried to get rid of you, but, uh, oh, man. <laughs> the Lando Calrissians uh, of, of football. And, uh, and we added, uh, Harn back Harn's hiatus was, was no longer, we lifted, I, I want to make up some story that he like, I think, I think this, he this was, was a yeah, like a, yeah. One year ban. PEDs, he had like he took PEDs and he got right. a spinner for a year. <laughs> and uh, and then Austin Smith was added that year too. Uh, one of Parker's buddies. Um, and then we dropped Doug Jones, James, Grant, and Robert. So all Hunter's buddies besides uh, um, Justin Hughes was gone, and Doug Jones was gone. I think Doug actually won that year. Funny enough, in 2012, Doug Jones won it, and then I guess that was enough. And we were like, no, nah, <laughs> you can't win anymore. <laughs> but uh, no, I think he also moved back to Ohio that year um anyway so that was a 12-man league that was pretty crazy um in 2014 that's when we added cody and rob so welcome to the league cody and rob in 2014 and everything's starting to piece together and we're starting to get a good core group of guys you know the the universe has been formed and the earth is now producing life is this part in the league this is where we're at uh, to get, I just feel like uh, if I could do a good impression of that dude in Cosmos, like the Earth. Oh yeah, yeah, I was uh, like, Tyson. Tyson. yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> I need to, I need to get him to narrate. Maybe when we edit this, I'll just like find a, a voice filter. Uh, anyway, uh, we added Cody and Rob, and we dropped Brett, Mark, Austin, and Parker. Um, and that's what I like to call the uh, the early stages of the league. And then you look at 2015 and 2016. 2015, we dropped uh, – did I not add Chris in there? I guess, yeah, we added Chris at some point in there. I, I dropped his name. Chris Hess, he's another buddy of Mark's and Brett's um, <clears throat> and dated one of Gina's friends at the time. So we dropped Chris Hess in 2015 and added the final – uh, youngest baby member of the league, Dallas Livingston. <laughs> and from there, the league hasn't changed. 2015 through 2021, that's six years strong of stability. And I think it's mainly because we just, we found our, our core. Um, um, so I don't know if, is Dallas even in here anymore still? Uh, I just think he in the group chat said something with his kid. I'm not sure if he grew up or something like that. He oh, said no. kid aggro. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure what that means. Exactly. No. Well, well, we'll get him back on. I'm sure he's probably just still hanging out. Um, so that's 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 pretty much uh, that's the league uh, in that's the league history essentially. As far as managers, there's so much more history that happened. Um, uh, yeah, along. Do you recall the when the uh, first in-person draft was? Because I know in 2014 it was me, you, Jimenez, and I guess Gina at your apartment that drafted. Uh, uh, and I think after that, maybe we did the in-person draft. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, when you mean in person, you mean like not online at all? Right. Like we were still using the computers. I remember because I had an issue I, that year. My team was auto drafted because I could not log into my account to select my own players. thought it was a password issue. Turns out I was using the wrong email the whole time. But that was still technically like an online draft. Yeah. Yeah. So, OK, so that that was um, that was 2014, I believe. That was the right. year that. Uh, yeah. 2014. Uh, I lived off of Joy Road and I was in my apartment. I remember hosting people coming over. Yeah, I remember you being there. Um, a few other people were there. Yeah, we had a small, I was there. We had a small oh, you were there too? Sure. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I felt like I thought like Brett and Mark were there, but they, it looks like they dropped out of league that year. So maybe not. 
Um, yeah, so that was that might have been the first year we did like a, a group gathering. I'm trying to remember 2013 what we did that year. Um, oh no, 2013 we did get together too because that was the year that we draft me and Tyler drafted uh, John's team, and we were on our back porch at the Bowler uh, Drive House in Evans. So so we did get together that year before. That might have been the actual first year that we that I got together. So to, just to give you a brief history of the drafts, funny that you mentioned it. So. I have no recollection of 2011. I think I drafted in my bedroom by myself. So I don't think anyone got together in 2012. I, all my memories kind of coming to me. Um, 2012, I remember being at the driving range because it's hard to forget the moment that Mark Sanchez is drafted first overall. So I specifically <laughs> remember where I was standing for that. Um, I bet what? Yeah, it was that is that wedges and woods. We were in the little office. I think Hunter was there too. He wasn't in the room, and I just remember shouting. I was like, "Mark Sanchez, what the fuck!" <laughs> and I was just like, "I love it. I'm glad we. I'm glad we let this guy play." Um, and uh, yeah, 2013 was at the Bowler Drive House. 14 was at um, was at my apartment. 2015, yep. um, we bought the house in 2015. So, and that was the first year that we got the group together. I want, I want to say that we didn't, did we do, was that the first offline draft? And we've been offline since ever then? drafting online, except for the first year I was in the league. So I, I would say yes, but I don't know for sure. I don't think I started coming in the in-person draft. I don't recall participating in one until I think 2016. Maybe yeah 15. we'll have to look that stat up it's definitely 2015 or 2016 i wish i could look up uh i mean i would remember if 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 someone told me who i drafted that year i could probably remember exactly where i was for it um but i, I yeah i can't i can't i can't pull that up at the moment but yeah so i think from there we pretty much started doing it in my house and i think uh this next year might be the first year that we we break that tradition because i think jimenez uh offered to do it at his place next year um because it'll all be set up and ready to go so and i'm nice. i'm more than more than welcome to letting uh a new location uh become the spot you know i love as doing long it my as, place, but it doesn't have to be as long as he doesn't win this year it's pretty cool i wish everyone yeah. was here Y'all are well when we're when's the championship and like just... week, week 17 i guess right i wonder what date it's... that is yeah there's That's one right, thing we need to talk about. Now. This is this is the first year they've added an extra game. How do you guys feel about 16 versus 17 total games? Uh, more wins for me, more Ws. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Beat the Ws. I think it's pretty cool, just the extra week of football in general, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Hopefully, pretty awesome. Let's see. Let's see if I can – I want to check the – dates because i might be in town for that championship weekend or something you know i mean i'd like to well i just i showed it i showed it earlier i can pull it back up let's let me screen share i'll show the projected uh um playoff sitch playoffs and oh shit it's late talking about practice oh, that, that's, that's, that's playoffs that way week yeah, 17 is december 28th through practice? january 3rd so it's across uh, New Year's Eve weekend. I will actually be in Augusta that week. We should tr- right. definitely try to get together. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely. Do We're do- I'm, all, I'm off mind. work, so let's do it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'll be okay. working, but I get to. I got, I'll be working from home, so I, I can definitely hang on the afternoons. When are you coming in town, Zach? It would be December 28th through the third, January. Nice, dude. Oh, you're gonna come in town for that weekend? Uh, I mean, yeah, because I can't make it for your birthday or Christmas, and it's just like, why not come? Oh, yeah, right someone's going to be 30 this year. And we could have a, a, a fake Christmas. Yay. You're turning 30, Howie? Well, you, yeah, he's turning 30. He's about wow. 91. Thought, thought you get getting old. 31. If it makes you feel better, how, yeah. or Zach, uh, Christmas is not always celebrated on 25th around the world. Like where my wife comes from, they celebrate it on January 7th, which is a weird day. So we can kind of just make up our own Christmas holiday. Okay. Let's That's start our own nice. country. Beautiful. You know. Yeah. Should. The country and we should. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll okay. celebrate it on whenever Zach makes it news down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got to. And I'll probably come in February, too, because, you know, Hunter's going to New Jersey yes. for the Coast Guard, you know. So. And we can celebrate Hunter's birthday and my birthday. When's your birthday, Jen? February 10th. Okay. Right on. 
Oh yeah, have you seen Dad's butt? <laughs> it's yeah. so flat. He's got Nobody a flat back. Nobody has seen your dad's butt in years. Dad's Since got hanging butt. butt here. Have you have you seen me? And it's just a picture of dad's butt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> On the milk everywhere. carton missing. <laughs> Want, wanted. I haven't seen yeah. it since 91. Um, not since that softball picture was taken apparently oh my god yeah. oh my god you know it was like a goosebump story it like stole his butt when they took the yeah. photo you know his belly haunted, stole it haunted jam. <laughs> That's, yeah it was, it was a weird he, he pissed it off some, like, it somewhere he pissed off some voodoo uh like princess and she just that was me oh, okay. <laughs> that was me so, voodoo um, voodoo gypsy <laughs> Voodoo gypsy woman. Um, I'm, I am super jealous that it's sunny out where you're at. It's not fair. Yeah, it's yeah, totally it's dark here.